Izzy here, and it's time for another frequently asked question, and we're gonna do it on the super popular Canon EOS 77D. Stay tuned. So welcome to one of our frequently asked question videos. The way we do this is we go online, Amazon, eBay, even our customer service questions, and we pick 10 of the most popular questions that are frequently asked about a product. And we're gonna do it on, of course, the Canon Rebel 77D. So without further wait, let's get to question number one. And that is, how good is the battery life on the EOS 77D? Quite good, remember, we're dealing with a DSLR. It's working with their LPE17 battery, which is their newest in the lineup. It has a good stamina, so it's gonna allow you to shoot up to 600 shots using your optical viewfinder. Now, if you switch over to the LCD, it could drop down as much as to 270 shots. So, in that case, you wanna walk around with an extra battery with you so that you can be prepared for a whole day of shooting. Now, stay tuned, we're going to question number two. So another question is, how good is the ISO capabilities of this camera the 77D compared to other comparable cameras. Remember, we are now working with Canon's newest processor. This is the Digic 7 processor. So every generation, the high ISO capability of the camera goes up and up and up. We're all the way up to 25,600 in the auto ISO settings, but you can also expand it for stills all the way up to 51,200 when your image is more important than the image quality. You'll be able to capture it regardless of the lighting situation. Now, for us video users, remember, it's going to top out at 6,400, which honestly is more than adequate for any kind of lighting situations when you're trying to record a good quality video. Stay tuned, we're going on to the next question. So, how many files can I shoot while I'm doing either JPEG or RAW and continuous with my 77D? It's actually quite good if you're shooting JPEG, you can go all the way up to 190 images before your buffer starts to kick in. And if you like to shoot in RAW, like a lot of us do, you can go all the way up to 23. Now, remember, this is working with your fastest UHS-1 card out on the market, and to know which cards are compatible with your camera, check your owner's manual or go online to see one of the most current uh, availabilities that is compatible with your EOS 77D. But again, 190 and 23 with RAW is a nice way to be able to stop action and do continuous shooting. How well does the Dual Pixel AF work on stills and videos on my 77D? Quite well. Remember, this has become a legacy for Canon now. All of their new cameras that are DSLR, even some of their newer pocket cameras are coming with dual pixel AF. It's fast, it's convenient, and it allows you to do fantastic still imaging and video with just a touch of a finger because remember, you can use the LCD to program that and set it up. It's phenomenal. We're doing it right now with our 5D Mark IV. So on your 77D, absolutely love the dual pixel AF. So. Can you set up the back focus button on the 77D? Absolutely, that's become a very popular feature for advanced users and professionals alike. And the 77D allows you to do that. It's quite simple, it's in your settings, in your custom function settings for your buttons. How well does digital image stabilization work in video? Well, remember, this is a feature that they transferred over from back in the days of their mirrorless. That was when Canon first introduced the digital image stabilization for video. So now it's transferred over to the EOS 77D and it's very simple to set up in your custom function settings. Plus, remember, if you're working with a lens that has optical stabilization, that combination to boot is gonna give you a fantastic capability for just shooting handheld video. And here we have another important frequently asked question on the EOS 77D. Does it have an intervalometer that you can record time-lapse? Absolutely, and it's built into the camera. No app purchase necessary. Stay tuned, and we're gonna take a look at how easy it is to use and set up. All right, so we're gonna go into our camera settings, and here it is, the fifth folder interval timer. We need to enable that, because the default is disabled. So we want to actually tell it to enable it, and then you're going to be able to choose the interval and the number of shots. So notice now, I can actually change the interval between hours, minutes, and seconds. 
and you can now choose the number of shots. You can start out with as little as three, four, five, or six, and then you can take it all the way to unlimited. So you can fill up your memory card very easily doing this. And that's how you set up your intervalometer on your 77D. So can you connect your 77D wirelessly to your favorite smartphone or tablet? Absolutely. That has become a very important feature in today's market. You gotta remember, a lot of us wanna be able to share our images right away on social media or share it with family fem members or control the camera wirelessly. The Canon has made it very simple. It's come up to a standard that's become an industry leader. You gotta download, of course, the Canon Camera Connect app onto your favorite wireless device, whether it's a smartphone or a tablet. You can even work with it on a favorite computer. Now, this way, you're gonna have access to your files, whether they're JPEG files, and you're also gonna be able to control the camera. It's done very easily. I'll show you how simple it is to set up. Once you have it set up, after the initial setup, you can even just press a button in the back and it'll connect wirelessly right to your favorite smartphone or tablet or laptop. And again, you also have the capability of being able to upload your images right on the fly. Take a look at how simple it is to set up. We're first gonna press the wireless button in the back and that activates your Wi-Fi settings. You're going to enable Wi-Fi. You need to do that. And then you're gonna register a nickname. I'm keeping the default, but you can change it at will. And then once it's selected, notice how it now tells you to save the text. And we're gonna hit the Wi-Fi button again and switch over to smartphone. And now you're going to register the device for a connection. You can actually tell it not to keep displaying this. I'm using an iOS device, so I'm going to choose that. I don't feel like using a QR scanner, so I'm going to overwrite that and go into it to search, and there it is. Now I'm going to open up my Wi-Fi settings on my iPad, and there it is. It found the 77D, and then I'm going to enter the password that is being shown on the camera screen. And you ask to join. There it is, it's connected. And now I'm going to open up the Canon Camera Connect app. It's gonna tell you to turn on Bluetooth and all the other facilities. Now you're going to pick the camera since it has the name 77D. And then you're going to actually say okay on the screen for the camera. And now it does the connection. And there you have it. You now have the capability of controlling the camera and also using the transfer capabilities of it. Plus, remember, it also gives you GPS coordinates for your files. So can I control my focusing points from my smartphone or tablet while shooting video? Absolutely. You already learned how to get your camera connected with the Canon Connect app, and you now have it linked up to your favorite smartphone or tablet. But you now are doing vlogging or you're doing a one-man show, your director, producer, videographer, everything else, and it's just you, you, and you. Guess what? You could do it very easily right from your smartphone or tablet. You can pick the focusing points. You can even tell it to focus on your face. As a matter of fact, with this 18 to 135 USM nano lens, there's an adapter you can get, to, you can even do your focusing and zooming right from the application on your phone and tablet. Take a look at how easy it is to set up. All right, so now I have the application, of course, installed on my iPad, and notice how I'm able to switch focus. All I have to do is just tap on the car. So here we go, we're recording right now, and notice this, I can actually tap to focus very easily and notice how it tracks the movement of the vehicle right from the application. What a convenient feature this is. All right, so thanks for hanging on all the way to the end. The final question for the 77D, can I record to an external recorder through HDMI or use an external monitor? Short answer is no, it does not have clean HDMI out, but guess what? If you want to use a monitor, that's why they give you the Canon Camera Connect app. You can connect to laptops and huge tablets. I mean, there's tablets that are 15 inches out there. What more of a better monitor is that? Now, of course, if this video helped you out, don't forget to hit me up with that like button underneath and subscribe to our channel for unboxings, tutorials, and of course, frequently asked question videos such as this. 
And if you're visiting the Miami area, don't forget to come by and say hello to Adam and me at the Digital Goja Showroom. Happy shooting. <laughs>